Follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty apartments on Valdivy Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Cast your vote on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win one of the completed apartments worth more than 3 million rand. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now, there is less than a week left for our design contestants to complete their master bedrooms. Recently, they met up with their mentors to go through some ideas that will hopefully push their master bedrooms to the next level. Minentle, show me where you're at, where, where we've got to on the, the main bedroom. Um, I think we're on track at the moment. So the floor is in. We were lucky enough to have the floor installed at the same time as the other bedroom. Luck's got nothing to do with it. The harder you work, the luckier you get. <laughs> so uh, I've made sure that the floor is protected so that uh, it doesn't get damaged when we work on the rest of the stuff. At the moment, we're working on the mural. So tell me about the mural. That's what I'm most excited about. Have we, we got in touch with Nabia. You're going ahead with that? Yes, yes. Nabs is on site uh, working on the mural. We're going for that distressed look, which is bolder than what we had for the guest bedroom. Yeah, we so need to make Plascon happy, yeah. show them what we can do with their So pain. I'm very happy about that. And then I guess it's a matter of just waiting for everything to arrive. I mean, it's a bit hair-raising with the bed coming in from Durban. The bed is like one of my main worries because it's literally going to make or break the room. So I'm very stressed about that getting on site. I think it's worth the stress, Manente. That bed's going to be beautiful. Obviously, it's picking up on the same theme as your initial bedroom. Slightly different though. The dove grey, I think, is really it's going to feel a little bit more serene, a little bit um, more calming than the guest bedroom. Even though we're, we're taking a similar idea with the guest bedroom, so everything is going to run smooth. You and I know how much time we spend in our bedrooms. It's not just about sleeping. It's about relaxation. It's about function. It's also about getting ready for the day every morning. So you need to have everything at your disposal so that you can face the world. Also, just because of the site, where it is, where Valdivy is, you want to be able to spend as much time on that beautiful estate. So adding in a few functional elements where people can work from their bedrooms. Um, also, maybe you don't always want to read in bed. You take your read reading quite seriously. You want to be able to sit in a chair. Um, so I think for me, that's the, the importance of this bedroom. It's stylish, but it's functional. It's also the big thing about bedrooms for me is that they do have to be soothing. It has to become a sanctuary. Um, so not too tech heavy, pull back on the tech, um, but, but again, it needs to be hard working. Um, that means I better get hard working myself. Agreed. Hi! Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. A few things happened, but um, I think I'll be able to make it still. So. Oh, I'm sure. Just talk me through it and maybe we can find some solution. So the exposed cupboards are a bit too long. The one is fitting, but the other one is way too long. Oh. I'm sure your handyman will sort it out and you've got a bit of time. Yeah. Just make sure that you've got a good finish on where the two paints meet each other. Yes, yes. And I think one of the most important things to remember is you are not decorating. You are creating a lifestyle for somebody who wants to live on this fantastic estate. Yes. And just keep in mind that some real person actually has to live in this place. Okay, so tell me what is still left to do. I need to figure out uh, how to do that quickly. The, 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 the exposed the thing, okay. The, the exposed cupboard. And then my concrete benches are cut too long, so I need to send them back. At least they were not cut too short. That would have been a bigger problem. <laughs> yes. I still need to style a bit and choose the right bedding. I'm not sure yet what color I'm but going to I go can, through. I can definitely help you. I think uh, for a bedroom, you need like that little bit of unexpectedness on the bed. Maybe two colors that we go. And good quality. The whole look that you're going for is understated, really good quality. So it doesn't look flashy, but it is just fabulous to live in that space. Right, how's it going? Yeah, so the paint's on the walls looking great. It okay. matches um, Natalie's artwork just perfectly. The scissor stone um, bedside tables are arriving soon. Okay. And we've taken that same scissor stone through to the main dressing room. So we're just going to slot them in there. Okay, have the bedside tables arrived? Yeah, they will arrive soon. Okay. So I'm quite happy with them. They look gorgeous. Okay, and tell me about the craft house today. Has it finally come together? It's I love so it. amazing. Uh, Michelle, it's, it's just such a beautiful piece. Um, they're based in Strand. It's merino wool. And it's just going to be a uh, cellar. Not Quite good. Amazing. So that whole natural, organic, beautiful, soft look at the base of the bed. And also with the Lisa Furrow clay that we have there, I mean, those art pieces are just so stunning. Now we wanted to talk about the rug for the bedroom. 
I wanted to suggest to you that maybe you look at moving that rug into the dressing room area so that you've got this beautiful, quiet sanctuary, walk into this lovely, soft space, and then into that spa-like bathroom. It's a great idea. Yeah, it really is. And how's the dressing room doing? Okay, I'm still waiting on confirmation for the Ottomans. They have that black leather um, that we oh, spoke right. about. Yeah, so we have the thread going through again. And we have the metal rods, and they're going to look amazing. They are a little bit away from the wall, mm -hmm. so we can allow for different doors to be put in at a later stage. Down the side? Basically, this whole built-in cupboard is floating in the air. I think it just adds that to the beautiful airiness to the space. And it has a beautiful paneling on either side. So what I loved about your design, which I think you should work through and do fully, is take that whole wall fe feature up and across the ceiling and down again. I think it just created this amazing room within a room. I also love Brunt's idea for a design for the pole that doesn't quite go to the end, so it, it doesn't mess with the cladding on the side. All of those details really count. So I think the dressing room needs to be Pierce the resistance. It does. <laughs> You've designed it beautifully, so go for it. Yeah. All you have to do now is meet that deadline. Yeah, I think it's going to be amazing space. Good. Ooh, they had better get their move on. Only three days left to complete those master bedrooms. Now, paying off a home loan is a very expensive endeavor, especially in today's economic climate. Luckily, we have our finance expert to help us out. Due to general increases in the cost of living, homeowners and property investors are finding it increasingly difficult to keep up with expenses, home loan repayments being one of them. We have Tim Akinusi with us in the loft, who is the head of sales and client value management at Nedbank Home Loans, to guide us through the steps to take when it comes to protecting your homes when facing financial challenges. Welcome back to the loft, Tim. Thank you very much. So one of these financial challenges we mentioned could be losing your job. What steps does one take in that situation? So Bonnie, you, when we grant you a home loan, uh, we know that it's a 20 to 30 year commitment. And we expect that because it's a long period of time, you may run into some financial difficulty. So as a bank, um, what we've tried to do is to create options for individuals to be able to ride out the storm. Um, and we have both short term uh, options for um, clients who face difficulty and um, as well as some long-term options as well. The first thing that I'd like to state before I get into the options is clients should never go into default because the implications for that are, um, are quite dire, dire and they have long-term mm -hmm. implications for that. So they'll affect your ability to get credit in future when your situation does improve. Yeah. So the first thing that I would suggest is for clients to come straight to your banker and talk about your financial difficulty mm -hmm. and understand it from a long and short term perspective. Because if it's a short term difficulty, then what we can do is restructure your entire loan, which in essence is about reducing your repayments and extending the time period that you would um, need yeah. to pay back the loan. Yeah. If you believe that the long term effects of your, um, your financial situation will continue to persist, then I would suggest that um, you contact us and we have a product that we can help you sell your house and it's called mm. the Net Bank Assisted Sale. Mm -hmm. And in essence, what we'll do is put your house on the market for you and help you get the most amount of our value for it. Right. And whatever the shortfall is, we will then go a step further and forgive 50% of that debt. So as a result of that, you then preserve your credit um, history yeah. and your credit health, yeah. and um, you're still able to get the most out of the property that yeah. you had um, initially. So what if in this instance, the financial situation doesn't let up? Barney, the first thing that we would advise our customers to do is um, to speak with us because we have financial products that will help them um, ride through the this, this storm. And one of those products is a restructure program where we basically would restructure your accounts and reduce your monthly repayments and extend the period that you'd pay the loan over. And over the last couple of years, we've helped more than 16,000 customers restructure their accounts and help them get back on their feet and to continue with the repayments of their mortgage um, loans. The second thing that we also have is a NetBank Assisted Sales Program, which aids customers in helping them to sell their homes mm -hmm. and to get the best value for it. So we've helped over 4,000 um, individuals uh, sell their homes through the NetBank Assisted Sales Program. And that's helped preserve their credit record. Thank you so much, Tim. Thank you. Don't fear when NetBank is near. They're here to help you along the way and make sure you are taken care of. For more information, visit www.netbank.co.za forward slash home loans for more information.
Sure, so fascinating. I'm taking notes and I hope you are too. Now, just remember quickly that you have until Thursday, the 14th of July to vote for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom and you stand a chance to win by doing so. Here's how. It's not called Win a Home for Nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of the three completed apartments at the Valdeby Estate, valued at over 3 million rand, by voting for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom on privateproperty.co.za. Win a Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.